So today, I hiked out through the snow to bring you guys the Safe Life Defense gun belt. This thing, you can literally put everything you need on it. From your AR mags, your pistol holster, extra pistol mags. This belt is awesome. Works great. Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Today I've got something pretty cool for you guys. This is the tactical belt from Safe Life Defense. And I am wearing the actual, it's a two part belt where you have like an under belt that goes through your belt loops and then the over belt that, you know, Velcro's onto it. And I'm, I'm wearing the under part right now. I'm gonna show you guys how the whole thing works and what I think about this belt. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to Sawtooth Tactical and hit that notification bell. This is about as kitted out as you'll ever see me, but it's nice to have everything I need for the range on me. I gotta say, this belt, thumbs up. This belt was sent out to me by Safe Life Defense to do some testing and evaluation to do a video review on, just like we're doing right now. And, uh, and I'm really happy that they sent it out. This is not something that I had thought about really getting before. I am not the most tactical guy in the world, despite the name of the channel being Sawtooth Tactical. And despite owning all these firearms and going out shooting pretty much every weekend all year long, You'll see from the video footage in this video, I mean, I was out there in a blizzard basically today, hiked through knee deep snow just to go shoot, just to get this footage. Um, I love to shoot guns, but I've never been in the military. I've never been law enforcement. I don't own a plate carrier or a chest rig, and I've never owned a belt like this. Um, so it wasn't really something that I was very familiar with. Well, Jake Turnbull from, uh, from Safe Life Defense sent this out to me and uh, gave me some time to put together this review, which I really appreciate because, again, as I said, it's not something I was really familiar with. So when I first received it, it came in this giant long box. This belt is extremely stiff, and I pulled it out, and, uh, and I was a little bit overwhelmed, honestly, just because this isn't something that I've normally dealt with. Um, but now that I have, I totally get it. Um, and it's, it's very cool. So, but I do want to give you guys a little backstory here because I got the belt and I was like, all right, I got to figure out how to set this thing up. Well, all, none of my holsters fit it. This belt is wider than any of your like standard concealed carry holsters are going to fit. You know, anything that fits a one and a half inch belt will not necessarily fit this. And it's also very thick. This belt is super rigid, super stiff, super high quality, and it's got molly webbing all over it, which, uh, which we'll go over when we go up close, why that really helps. But I realized that I had to get some different kinds of gear to be able to run this belt the right way. And um, I wanted to run it with my MMP 2.0 because this is, of all of my pistols, this is the one that, you know, I have the most experience with. It's kind of my, my main squeeze pistol. And I also already had a double mag carrier for that pistol, which luckily did fit this belt. Now, I also do have a holster for this pistol that would have fit this belt. But ever since I put a uh, red dot on here, that holster is not cut for a red dot. So I was going to take my Dremel and cut the holster out for a red dot. And I just decided, let's just do this right. So I got a hold of Jake at Safe Life Defense. Explained to him that I'd gone out. I had found a, a holster that worked. This was at Guppy's Gun and Pond, my local gun store. Always want to give a big shout out to those guys. Um, they helped me out. They found me exactly what I needed there. 
which I really appreciated. This is a holster from Blade Tech, in case you're wondering. It's tight, but these will fit on these Safe Life Defense Tactical Belts just fine. They are cut for a red dot, if that's what you need, which, you know, in this modern day and age, a lot of us are putting red dots on our pistols. Uh, Jake over at Safe Life Defense told me, you know, that if I needed, he could send me out some uh, pistol mag pouches or AR mag pouches. So I told him that I already had some pistol ones for my M&P 2.0 but not AR-15 mag pouches. So he sent me out a couple of those, which I'm gonna show you right now how that works. So Safe Life Defense sent me this belt and I, uh, I got a hold of him. I told him that I had needed to find a pistol holster that fit it and that I just didn't have all the gear that you would normally have on a belt like this. And so they sent me a couple of AR mag pouches for it too, which uh, really helped me kit this thing out. I really appreciate it. I just love shooting. So I've backed the camera out a bit so that you guys can see my waistline here. I'm wearing the inner belt and it does go through regular belt loops like on your standard jeans. And then you take the outer tactical belt here and it velcros right to it. It's very stiff and it's got a cobra buckle like so. And then it is Solid. You can jump up and down. You can move in any way that you need to. I've got AR-15 mags at the ready for mag changes. I've got pistol mags ready to go. You know, everything that you need. Your holster, your pistol mags, your AR mags. You can put all kinds of other pouches on here. Medical. Anything that you really need on a tactical belt. Anything that you might need at the range. Or if you are, you know, military or law enforcement, to use this for any kind of duty use, I think that it would be fantastic. So if you guys can see this, holds everything I need in one place. I've never had that before. And uh, when you're hiking out here, it's nice to just be able to have it all on you. Got everything I need. So I wanted to give you guys an up close look here at the belt. This is your inner belt. So you see that it is also very stiff. I mean, you could use this as a concealed carry belt if you needed to, but it is, uh, you know, the loop side of hook and loop Velcro. And then you have your outer belt that attaches right to that. You see that it has molly webbing in it. And that is one of the beautiful things. So the AR mag carriers that they sent me out go right into the molly webbing perfectly. You can see that there. Very easy to get it in. But then my pistol um, holster here actually goes around the outside of that belt, as does my pistol mag carrier there. And this is a mag carry that just came with my M&P 2.0 pistol. So at the moment, I've got two AR mags, two M&P 17 round mags, and my pistol on here. And it holds all that stuff very easily and still has a ton more room for other pouches, medical, whatever else you might want on it. It's got the Cobra buckle, which is very, very solid. You see how that hooks up here. And that's not going anywhere. This, uh, what they make this belt out of is extremely stiff. It can handle tons of weight without any kinds of problems. I was literally hiking out in waist deep snow with this thing on today, carrying all this stuff, full mags. The AR-15 mags were full. The pistol mags were full, all that weight. And uh, I barely noticed it around my waist. And uh, part of that is due to this being within my belt loops, just like any other belt would be. 
And then this just Velcroed to it. It works really, really well. So I'm not doing the quick mag changes out here because honestly, the snow is so deep, I might lose my mags. Um, we're gonna do a follow-up video in like springtime, but uh, so far I'm loving this thing. It is really nice to be able to just grab what I need and go. This is too much fun. Safe life defense, ladies and gentlemen. So I am gonna do an update to this video in the springtime when I can really get out to the range easier than it is right now. You know, when we have so much snow on the ground. This is the beginning of March and we've just gotten ridiculous amounts of snow this year. But I wanna be able to really show what you can do with this belt because I think that running around at the range, kind of run and gun kind of stuff, you know, quick reloads, all of that kind of thing are gonna be so much easier when I'm able to have all my gear in one place. And that's kind of the beauty of something like this. Now, if you are law enforcement or something, then I believe that this would be great for work. Now, I don't exactly know what you guys go through in military and law enforcement, but from my experience with this belt, I think it's pretty awesome. But even just as a civilian, I'm going to really enjoy using this thing at the range. And I'm sure as time goes by, I'll get it set up better and better for my uses. But one of the really cool things about it is that once you do get it set up the way you like, you can basically just leave it alone. You can take the inner belt, thread it through your belt loops, and then when you get out there, you just Velcro the outer belt on, you've got all your gear on you and ready to go, which is very convenient, very efficient, and, uh, and it just makes you, you know, that much more tactical if that's what you're trying to do. But even if you're not, just for shooting in general, it's always really nice to have all your extra magazines on you and you know everyone should carry medical there's you know which i don't have on this belt yet but i do have you know just like a regular medical kit in my truck that comes with me although you know like today i had to hike way out there as i've had to do all winter in which case i don't have that on me which is you know kind of a big no-no so to be able to put all that stuff on one belt have it in one place right on you when you're out shooting is a very very convenient thing now I had to be able to put a video out because I've been holding on to this belt for about a month I've been setting it up I've been working with it and uh, even you know I've been hoping that the weather was gonna get better in order to be able to make this video and it hasn't yet so we will put out you know a follow-up video to this maybe in another month or two once we can actually drive out there set up the steel targets and really do some real shooting um that'll be a lot of fun but i really enjoyed it today just out in the snow having everything on me was really nice i didn't have to drop mags in the snow and try to find them afterward get everything full of snow and wet it really was nice to have it all on me and uh, i want to thank safe life defense for sending this out and then again for sending out the ar mag pouches when I told you that I didn't have what I needed to set everything up, I really, really appreciate you guys for doing that. And, um, you know, that doesn't buy me a positive review by any means, but this thing is just extremely high quality. That's just me being 100% honest. Um, my channel is not big enough yet to get all kinds of free stuff or to be getting paid by any companies. And so all my reviews are very honest. I review stuff that I like for the most part. And uh, if it's good, it's good. And you guys know if you've been following the channel that if it's not, I am honest about it. When I first got this 1911, it had a lot of problems and I was not shy about showing that in a video. Now it does run great now and I've also showed that. But I do believe in honesty 
And uh, I want you guys to be able to trust me as my channel grows and improves throughout the future. Um, one way that you can help that happen is by joining my Patreon. Any help on that will go right back into the channel to buy more guns, more gear to review, things like that, and is greatly appreciated. I, uh, I'm going to have to get a new holster for this here very soon. This is my new Springfield Prodigy so that I can use this on this belt because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be running this pistol more than just about anything else at the range in the coming months. I've got a review coming for this on Friday. Check it out. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss that uh, because it's going to be a good one. And uh, leave me a comment. Do you run tactical belts like this? You know, I thought I was all set in belts when I got my Core Essentials concealed carry belt. But now I've got a real range belt and uh, it does make a huge, huge difference. So let me know what belts you run. If, uh, if you know Safe Life Defense, let me know about that because I was not familiar with them until I heard from them and uh, they make fantastic products. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.